the value of men in Western society is very low. And I would argue that our whole society is sick and damaged. And particularly because we have this, um, our, where our values are placed is in money. And this has caused, you know, a lot of, a lot of sickness in our society. The irony, you know, I live in a liberal area, Seattle, and I just don't like people here. I never have. I grew up in a conservative area. And people, I remember people there being very, a lot more down to earth, a lot more real. The median income there was like 35000 maybe even 32000 you could rent a two bedroom house for like seven fifty a month. You could raise kids there for relatively cheap. Very cheap actually. Um and people were just down to earth. They would come up to you and say hi on the street. They would look you in the eye. You could tell they would be caring. You know, and then you move to a liberal area. And they're not like that at all. In fact, there's a term for people in Seattle. It's called the Seattle freeze. Meaning people are really cold. They're not warm. They're not happy. They're not kind for the most part. Every once in a while you'll meet somebody who is, but for the most part. And the irony there is the liberals of the world are the ones who claim to be more moral, who claim they don't need God, who claim that... Um, you know, it's the it's the God fearing right that are the ones who are the hypocrites and, and they're just fine the way they are. When in reality, when you really get to know these people, you understand that that's farthest from the truth. The truth is, is that they're really they're they're the hypocrites. They're cold and messed up. But you realize that they care about money. They care about their own personal things. They don't care about homeless people. They don't care about poor people. Even though, you know, checks, uh, social safety nets are um, something that the left pushes. The people who really are, who really make up the left, at least in so far as the Pacific Northwest are concerned. You know, these people are very... Um, they just don't care about poor people because if they did, they'd be out doing something about it. Cause there's a lot of homeless people in Seattle. I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's places they can go and things like that. But people here have the money to, I mean, they didn't do what Utah did. Utah built homes for the homeless people, literally built homes for them and saved money yearly while doing it. They figured out, I believe they still do it. If you're homeless in Utah, they will literally give you housing for free. You just sign up and they'll give you a fucking house. They built houses for homeless people in Utah. And they saved tax money yearly doing it. It costs less to just house the people, just house the homeless people, than it does to, you know, pay for their stuff on the street. But they don't do that here because they I don't think they care enough. They're very, very, very selfish. They're very insulated. But I think this is the world. This is how the world is going. This is the direction the world is going. It's more and more selfish. More and more people don't care. You know, there's nothing wholesome anymore. You turn on the TV, all it is is selfish, selfish, selfish stuff. Selfish people who are famous now. Selfish, selfishness is sick. It's weird. You know? And what is a man's worth in this world? What is a man's worth? He's only worthwhile as long as he has money. 
If he does not have money, he's worthless. If you can't do something for these women, you're worthless. Even in church, I was talking to some people the other day and talking about how girls in church are more hypergamous. More hypergamous than girls in the world. You know, and it's like because there's a mix of, the, you know, today's attitude where you ain't shit if you don't have money. And the old school traditional attitude, which is that a man needs to be the breadwinner and take care of the woman and she takes care of the house and the kids. So it's a mix of that, which I don't think it was ever as bad as it is today. Because stuff costs so much today. So in church, they're twice as bad. In church, they gotta, you gotta be the breadwinner, you gotta be everything. If you're not making money, you ain't shit to these girls in church. I mean, in the world, at least, there's a chance that you, if you got a good personality, if you play yourself a certain way, you come across like a bad boy a certain way, she'll date you. Women will date you in the world if, you're, if you don't have money. They'll date you. But they're not going to settle down with you. And women are, I, I, I fully believe this, but I think women are, um, they're not even really falling in love anymore. They're just settling down with men who have money. Because he, he's a good catch or he's a good bet or he's a good prospect. And then they say they love the guy because you can love somebody. You can spend time with somebody and, oh, I love this guy because I spent a bunch of time with him or I love this girl because I spent a bunch of time. You, that can happen. But the question is, what is your motivation? The question is, you, what were you attracted to that person for in the first place? You know, and I see this all the time. I see girls settling down with guys because they have a good financial situation. And I see guys settling down with girls because they can't do any better. They're not good looking enough to be a player. They don't have the heart for it. They don't have the character. They don't have the smarts or the humor to do it. They don't know how to be a player, so they just settle down with one girl. Not to say people don't want to settle down. I think people do deep down want to settle down. But the question is, what are your, what is the basis for you settling down? Well, for women, it's a lot of times the guy has money. He's a good catch. He's got money. He's steady. He's 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 domesticated. He's a he'll be a good father. This is what these girls think. And the guy thinks, okay, well, she's not too much of a bitch. She's kind of amiable. She's, she's cute. She's, okay, I can deal with this. They don't think about her past nowadays. And nowadays, if you want to settle down, you, you pretty much have to overlook the past. Because girls ain't settling down in their early 20s. They're out riding the cock carousel until they get knocked up. And a lot of times nowadays, you almost have to settle down with a single mother. You got to take her and her kid in. And this is what I see a lot. These guys working their ass off to get a house, to get an apartment or whatever it is, the best they can do. And that's what they have to offer. Well, here I am. I got my shit together. I'm paying bills. I'm a real man. I'm a quote unquote real man. She's like, okay, I'll choose you. But, I, you know, you got to take my kid. You got to take me and my kid. <laughs> or you got to take me and all my baggage, me and my STDs, me and my... 50 plus lay count and these guys are so weak these guys are so simping so hard that they do it but a man only has worth if he has money if he's not paying bills if he can't offer her a place to stay she's not going to choose him and this is female nature this is why everybody, every man should take a look at this and say, okay, I can't, I can't be a part of that. This is hypergamy. I'm not going to play into hypergamy. Best case scenario, she's under 25. She hasn't slept with a bunch of guys and she'll stick with you no matter what, whether you're broke or poor. I, I encourage guys, don't, don't tell her, don't tell her you got money. Don't tell her you got a house. Don't tell her and if she asks. Ghoster. 
Because that's where her priorities are. If she asks, tell her you don't make money. Tell her you live at home still. Tell her you got a roommate and that's all you could afford, 600 bucks a month. Sorry. If she sticks around, maybe. That's, that's smart. Oh, I'm trying to impress her with with my nice car and my, my bills that I'm paying and all this shit. No, nah, man. You're playing into hypergamy and you don't even know it. You're simping. You're tricking. <laughs> You're using money to keep a woman. It's not smart. It's not smart.